Hi there guys, it's Earthworks again, here at a familiar property. This is the Klagnaz residence. We did this front yard about three years ago. Um, we'll show you some before and after shots. She likes all kinds of like tropical vibes and color. So you can see really not a whole lot of hedges and your typical construction grade landscape, which has hedge upon hedge upon hedge. We've got a lot of color and a lot of interest happening here, guys. So huge, huge difference in three years. Our mule palm, one of our features, beautiful, beautiful mule, mule palm, but it turned out great. But I can't wait to take you around back. That's what we just recently finished. Let's go, guys. All right, so you'll see in the backyard, uh, you'll notice in the before and after pictures, we're gonna show you that a lot of this was mulched in rock. Rock is a nice, beautiful uh, option for mulch. But really guys, it's not great for plants. It's good for walkway areas, for utility areas, but around plants, it's not the best choice. I'll just be honest with you. Um, so we removed all the rock. It's not easy to do that. So make a good, you know, good choices when you do decide you want to use mulch, um, rock for mulch because one is very labor intensive to remove, but we did it and it looks great. Coming through into here, it's a, a little dry right now. It's been really hot the last couple days for the new grass, but this will green up really quickly, guys. We did a beautiful flagstone walkway, a beautiful olive tree. Olive trees do well here, guys. Um, we left this here. We added a hedge here to protect from the golf balls. Once this gets bigger, she's had issues with the golf balls from the golf course hitting the pool equipment. Some beautiful flowering plants, including a dwarf hibiscus. Guys, these are fairly new. Um, most of the time your hibiscus go at large. These guys stay compact and short. So even if we get a little cooler temperatures, easy to cover up with a frost cloth and very low maintenance. We put a row of Japanese blueberries. They also grow big and also protect this little area and give her some privacy. So we gave her a little area for her granddaughter. She has a new granddaughter. Once this uh, grows in and we get it all nice and green, this will be an excellent area. And you'll see again, the before pictures, this was all rock. So not a really usable space. All right, guys, this is what I really, really want you to see. So when you see the befores of all the rock that was behind here, had some Washingtonia palms. Those are those real light pole, like really tall palms. They really didn't look good in this space. Well, we need it in this space with so a little bit lower coverage to protect those golf balls again from hitting your screen, but giving her a beautiful lush landscape that's not only nice for the guys at the golf course to see, but her to see inside her pool area. So we've added, um, she already had some white bird of paradise. That's that big guy in the middle. Um, and that one down there. So we just added another one right here on the corner. We've got our existing Robolini palm here. We added another one on that corner. And then in between, we had some beautiful weeping bottle brush. These are gonna look, fill this little space nicely with a little bit of color. And they're also hummingbird attractors. So now she can enjoy hummingbirds viewing from inside the pool area. We've added color with Thyralis in the back, Blue Days, Sunshine, Ligustrum, and Foxtails. Again, guys, certain things, people always think you have to have flowers for color. You really don't. You can incorporate leaf color in your landscape. It gives nice texture, it gives great color. So don't always think you gotta do flowers. You can do other things to give you that leaf color. But once all this grows in, the sea grapes, once all this grows in, she's gonna have a nice lush tropical backdrop as well as functional to hopefully keep those golfers from keep getting the golf balls out this way instead of into our screen area. And then what we've got over here is a continuation on the other side of her house where she's decided she had her original, you'll see it in the old videos and old pictures. And then of course we definitely needed to take her uh, potted up olive tree to match the other on the other side and to kind of give a little bit of privacy on this side to her neighbor. But overall, Adam, Kabobo, I believe Marcos was out here. Great job. Hands up to the foreman. They always do a great job. If you guys have any other questions or want to sign up for consultation or design, check us out on Earthworks Jacks and or at the nursery on Beach Boulevard. Have a great day.